In this uh, demo, I'll be showing how CACD can be achieved using all of these tools. These are all the open source tools that I have used. <coughs> and I'll be showcasing how we obtain CACD. I will not be getting into the details of each one of these tools. Rather than that, I would be showing how we'll integrate all of them and achieve continuous integration and continuous deployment and as well as uh, the various quality aspects of it be it um, static code analysis jnit or the automation of using selenium i'll just give a quick brief of these tools uh, this is my personal laptop and i have git which is a version control source code version control and i will be using github github is the uh, oh, place wherein we can share the code with the bigger community and i have jenkins running on my laptop jenkins is basically an orchestration tool which will which will not do anything on its own so it uses the hooks from the various tools to do and it stitches all of it together and i have sonar cube running on my laptop so sonar cube is the static code analysis it has got uh, various rules and the code base is run against those rules those rules and it will tell any violations against those rules and i'll be using ant to create a build and i'll be running junit on my code base and i have used java code coverage jacko to give me the code coverage of junit and i have used selenium selenium is the test automation suite which is predominantly used for uh, front end testing and i'll be using testng to generate the selenium reports and i have apache tomcat which is the web container on which i'll be deploying my application so i have a sample application uh, on my laptop so this is the sample application which i'll be showing and this is the tomcat console this is the sample application and uh, to 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 showcase that what is happening in the background i have got some printer lens so this is the sample application simple java web application as you can see i've logged in over here i'll just give a number 5 or 10 so it will generate 10 fibonacci series so it has generated 10 fibonacci series and i'll give some number 7 and it will generate 7 primary numbers the first 7 primary numbers maybe 10 it generates first 10 primary numbers and then i will give a series of numbers it will do the sorting i have used selection sort as the algorithm i will get into more of details in that further down the line so as you can see i am printing some print lens on my web console so that we can see some activity that is happening so this is my sample application which i'll take through the this entire process i have on my laptop i have my code i'll check in to get and the way i've configured jenkins is it will keep polling so this is the first thing first step i'll commit my code into my local repository which will in turn push it to github i have configured my jenkins to poll the github for every one minute i'll show the configurations also subsequently the moment it sees that there's a code change in github 
Jenkins kicks off a delivery pipeline. In that pipeline, the way I've configured is first it will trigger Sonar Cube reports. Sonar Cube is a static code analyzer. It would validate my code base against the various uh, rules and show what are the code violations that I have. Then the next step is it Jenkins will trigger ant. Ant is a build tool using which I am creating my war file. On that, once the build, so subsequently uh, the way I've configured is it Jenkins will kick off JUnit on my code coverage and on my code and it will uh, kick off Jackaco which is the code coverage tool java code coverage so it tells how many of uh, how, what are the lines of my code are covered by junit and which are the lines which are not covered by my junit that is what jacka code report tells if my junit is successful means to say that if none of my junit test cases are failing it takes a backup of my existing war file and deploys it into Tomcat. Jenkins will deploy into Tomcat. On that, it will trigger Selenium. Selenium is a uh, testing automation tool. And it publishes the report, test ng report. Jenkins will publish it. In case if there is any failure in Selenium, it will pick up the war file which was backed up earlier and redeploys into my Tomcat. So this is the entire delivery pipeline that I have configured on my laptop. The point that I am trying to establish or demo here is all that the developer does is commit the code into the lab, into the repository. Rest all things are automated. Just in case if all of my code is covered by JUnit, if all of my front end is covered by Selenium, my quality of deliverable will be that much higher. The chances of me regressing the system would be that much lower. And all of that is possible automatically just by a developer committing the code into GitHub. So that was my first agenda. So I just want the first thing that was that I wanted to do is give a brief of all the tools and how each one of the tools are stitched to each other uh, that's what i showed i did show the demo of the application that i have a simple application which will generate fibonacci series numbers primary numbers and sort the numbers in ascending order now i'll give a quick walkthrough of my jenkins delivery pipeline which will be similar to what we spoke. I will show how it is configured for every one minute to pull into GitHub, how SonarCube is configured, how JUnit and Jackoco, how Selenium, and how the deployment is configured. This is my Jenkins running on my local laptop this is the delivery pipeline that i have created and there are all individual jobs or in jenkins it is known as projects which is created and i've stitched them all together into a pipeline the first that the first project that i'm kicking off will be checking the code against the sonar cube i'll just show you how the job is configured this is the first step This is where I have configured the source code management. 
this is my github url and password this is where i am telling jenkins to pull my github for every one minute this is the regular expression giving five stars it uh, tells jenkins to pull my github for every one minute after it pulls once it changes that there's a change in the once it figures out that there's a change in the source code it triggers my sonar that is what the first job is doing or for the first project is doing in jenkins if this is successful it triggers jnit and jacoco now let's see how that is configured here i'm telling the build trigger is only if my sonar project is successful trigger this one which is the second one jnit and jacoco what is it doing the build environment is ant and i am my ant target is jnit with jacoco so that is my ant target that i need to trigger and i need to publish my jnit reports and on that i need to run the java code coverage using these classes and the source code that's how i configured my configured this job which will ensure that my jnit and jacoco is taken care in the meanwhile let me open up my eclipse where i have my code now the next job in the pipeline will be create war file you have to bear with my speed of my laptop so much is running so as a result uh, it takes time i am telling create a war file only if my jnit and jacoco project is stable here i am telling once again the build environment is ant and i am firing the target which have created war as the target that i have created once the create war is successful i am triggering the backup and deploy what this is going to do is it is going to take the backup of the war file which is in my tomcat and deploy the new war file here i am telling trigger this project or trigger this job only if create war is stable and have written in the build i have taken i have written a simple batch command to take backup and i have used a deploy plugin in jenkins which is going to deploy this war file into my tomcat i am running tomcat 7 this is what this particular job will do after that once it is deployed i am configuring it to run selenium selenium is a qa testing tool predominantly for web browser testing
here only if the deploy is successful I am triggering my selenium post that I am telling it to publish the results in the post build actions and just in case if selenium is failing here I am telling it to roll back I have written another job which is roll back only if it is unstable only if the selenium job is unstable this is going to if it is unstable if selenium is unstable then it is going to trigger the rollback in rollback I am picking up the war file from my backed up folder and redeploying it into my tomcat I am picking it and redeploying it that is what I am doing I have kept my backed up war file in this location and it will pick up from there and it will deploy it into my tomcat this is what this was the brief walkthrough of the Jenkins delivery pipeline that I have configured now let me walk you through the various reports starting with the sonar report this is the sonar instance that is running on my laptop it is running on port 9000 sonar I have a demo version of sonar it has its own internal database which is known as h2 database and for production worthy code we the h2 database will not sustain so we are expected to use some robust rdbms like oracle mysql sql server and things like that so this is how a sonar report looks I have on this is my code base so on this code is what my sonar has been executed against and it has published this report so I can drill down to the various class files so I have got various business logic processor.java so I can get into that particular class file and it will show me the coding violation it is all static code analysis static code violations for example here it says so these are all the rules that is there and which has been configured and sonar cube shows me any violations against those rules it shows at the various class levels I am not using sonar cube for JUnit coverage for some reason I could not get Jacoco and sonar talk to each other nevertheless I was able to accomplish the same using from Jenkins directly so I am ignoring the code coverage part in the sonar cube reports while I am taking only the other uh, reports or other uh, inferences from the sonar cube these are all quality gates that we can set and things like that I am not getting into the details of how to set up sonar cube the next report that I would like to show is JNet this is my JNet job and this is how I will get my coverage report it shows me very clearly which are the branches of which particular class which particular method my JUnit has not covered so I purposefully left one particular in this particular class in this method I have purposefully not covered it by JUnit so that I can show how it looks this is how it shows so this particular branch 
of this particular method is not covered by JUnit. That is what it is showing. So it goes to that particular class, that particular method, and it goes to all sorts of details. It tells about the branching, complexity, lines of code, and methods, and things like that. Once again, I am not getting into the details of this, this particular report and how it is. I just want to show it at a high level. The next one that I have, the next report that I have is the Jackaco report. That's what we just saw. I'll show the JNIT report. This is my JNIT report. It shows which are the test cases that have failed, things like that. There's another view, there's another plugin that I've used, which is a test results analyzer. Here you can see in a very good graphical view of the various JNIT test cases that have passed and failed and things as so it, it gives a very good view. So let me let me pick up all it was rather than showing the last 10 builds, let me pick up all the builds. Let me, I think it is getting refreshed every time. Let me disable the auto refresh. See, as you can see, it will tell to at the method level, in the build number 20 of this particular job, there's a failure. So it will tell which in this method, my so-and-so JUnit failed. I'm not getting into the details of what is JUnit and how is it showing, uh, what exactly happens behind the scene. That is what is the test result analyzer. So once again, this is the same Java code coverage report which we saw. Now the next report that I would want to show is the Selenium report. To see the Selenium report, we see the Here also you have the test results analyzer plugin which we can use. See, it shows which all test cases failed, <coughs> which particular test case passed and we can drill down. This is all the selenium test cases that I have written. Okay. So we had a walkthrough of the various reports. So now report, JNET report, Jakako and selenium. Now let me quickly walk through the JNIT code and the selenium code that I have written. This is the standard JNIT code. Anyone who has worked on JNIT will be able to recognize this pretty easily. 
against each but each one of the business logic method that I have for example I am checking if is a prime number generate prime numbers so each one of against each one of these methods have a corresponding JUnit method that's how we write JUnit next is this is the selenium code that I have this is the selenium code that I have and I'll run selenium from my Eclipse and show how selenium runs Here you'll see that it pops up a browser and it will run my application and you will see the printer runs coming on the console. That's how Selenium runs. can see some activity happening over here yes now it has opened up a browser now it's opened up my application it is logging it it is generating prime numbers I give an invalid number the application says enter a valid number I give a number generate the prime numbers I give a invalid number it says enter a valid number then I give a series of numbers it sorts it and it closes the browser my selenium test is successful this is how when I run my selenium from my eclipse this is how it pops up a browser there's another concept as headless browser where you won't see anything happening it runs in the background so this is I've used Chrome browser but when I run it from my Jenkins when I run my Jenkins job you would not see this browser popping up the reason being I'm running Jenkins as a service on my laptop and uh, there's some conflicts between running Jenkins as a server with Windows 7 so it's a known issue so you won't see you will not see a browser popping up like the way we see when we run it from Eclipse this is what we spoke now now coming to the actual part of it now I'll change the code for the sorting algorithm I'll change the label and I'll change some color and kick off the pipeline so this is what is my business logic that I have implemented so for example I already have written code I'll just comment on so this is a section of code which is running in my application now I have used selection sort algorithm for sorting so I'll and this is a code that I already have to use bubble sort now what I'll do is I'll comment the section of the code which uses selection sort and I will uncomment the code which will use bubble sort I've changed the logic of sorting and let me change something else instead of using selection sort let me type bubble sort as you saw here it says using selection sort rather than that I will do a bubble sort I'll say bubble sort the numbers and 
to give a visual feel. The first page, the border is gray. I'll change this border to blue. Now, this is a business logic change that a developer had to do in the code base. Now, all that he'll do, as a, all that I will as a developer do is commit into my get and rest all things get triggered automatically. Now, let me commit. These are the three files that I changed. So I'll say change to bubble sort and border as blue. I say commit and push. Now you can see It is committed. If we go back here, since I've configured my sonar web 70, that's a job name, to pull into my GitHub every one minute. Now, the moment it sees that there's a change in my GitHub, this job will get triggered. Let it just wait. The first one. Now it is pulling. Yes. Now the first job has got triggered. I'll show the console of the first job. It started by the ASCM. This is my comment that I gave and it is publishing my the report to my local sonar cube. It is running my sonar reports. It is scanning my project, scanning for all the rules. I've got six files in my project. All the six source files are getting. This is the jackaco.exe, which it creates, the jackaco plugin creates. My sonar cube was successful. Then it will trigger my next in the pipeline, my next project or my next job in the pipeline, which will be JUnit, triggering the new build. So let us go there. As you can see, it is pending. Yes, let us see the console. It says it started by the upstream project, which is Sonar Web, which was in turn started by ASCM change. Now my and targets are getting executed. My clean compile targets of ant are getting executed. So this is what is happening now. My ant has got triggered, and it is running my JUnit 10. 
ಜಾಕಕ್ಕು ಅದು ಜಾಕಕ್ಕು ಇಸ್ ರನ್ನಿ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ನಾವು ನಾವು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ವಾರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೈಪ್ ಲೈನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಅ ವಾರ್ ಫೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ವಾರ್ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ಸೊ ನೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಅ ಟಾಮ್ ಕೆಟ್ ಕನ್ಸೋಲ್ ನಾವು ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ಸಿ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಪಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟಾಮ್ ಕೆಟ್ ಕನ್ಸೋಲ್ ಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ಮೈ ನ್ಯೂ ವಾರ್ ಫೈ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರನ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲೇನಿಯಂ ನಾವು ಸೆಲೇನಿಯಂ ಹಸ್ ಗಟ್ ರಿಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲೇನಿಯಂ now after the deployment it has got it is running selenium as i mentioned earlier you won't see a browser getting popped up it is acting like a headless browser because of i'm running jenkins as a service on my laptop you can see the now you will see some activity it has logged in my selenium this is my top cat console i will see the business logic running it will generate prime numbers and fibonacci series and sorting that is my business logic it is running all the selenium tests yes it was successful now i can go back to my delivery pipeline and i can see that all my jobs were successful and it didn't roll back since my selenium was successful let me disable the auto refresh for the time being and let me refresh my application that's what it is now you can see it doing the bubble sort now though my business logic has changed of using selection sort of instead of using selection sort for ascending creating the ascending numbers i'm using bubble sort and since my j unit is covering that logic and i am i am i am not worried that i have regressed the system that takes care of it so this is how we should be able to take advantage of the cicd pipeline and j unit and the unit testing so this was my now let me introduce a logical bug in the code and a ui bug in the code and i'll kick off the ply pipeline and we'll see what happens i already have written some let us assume that i do a logical this is a logical bug so this is the correct logic for checking if a number is prime i'll comment out the correct logic and i'll introduce a logical bug number 1 number 2 in my i'll create a ui bug also rather than showing this as bold i will introduce 
a UI bug and remove the strong, the bold part of it. I will introduce a logical bug in my UI as well. Now let me commit this. The moment I commit it, since my JUnit will fail, the pipeline will get aborted over here. That is what will happen. Let me go to my Eclipse and let me commit it. Introduced bug bugs. Let me enable auto refresh. It will still run sonar. Sonar will not catch my logical bug. It is my J in it which will catch my logical bug and the pipeline will get aborted. So just because I introduce a logical bug, my application which was running as is, who would not get affected, would remain as is. Yes, now Jenkins has detected that there is a code change and it has triggered my first job. This is a code change. Introduce bugs. It has triggered my sonar job or the sonar project, Jenkins project. Once this is successful, it will run my J unit. And in this case, I know that this job will fail because I have introduced a logical bug and it will show which particular J unit test case failed in the reports, in the J unit reports. Let me see the console of GNIT. This is the console of GNIT. It is compiling. Just saying my GNIT failed. And made this build as unstable. That's where my pipeline will get about it. That's about it. So it is shown that the two of my test cases have failed and it is aborting my pipeline. Let me disable the auto refresh. If I go here and I see the test analyzer report, it will tell me very clearly, this is where it has failed. It has failed two of my test cases. This is where it has failed. Assertion has failed in test generate prior numbers. So here it says that I have regressed the system at two places. 
the prime numbers were expected to be like this that was this my method gave this why right? I'm supposed to get this so my JUnit has failed now let me correct the logic of my JUnit first I'll bring back the right logic for generating prime numbers and let me commit the code again commit and push now however still I have not corrected my UI bug which is the bold let me enable my auto refresh again after one minute it will Jenkins will detect that there is a commit in my github and it will trigger this build and I that thing starts all over once again so it will run my JUnit, it will create a war file, it will deploy, take a backup and deploy however in this case my selenium will fail and it will trigger the rollback job so this is what we should expect once everything starts yes it has detected there is a code change wherein I corrected my logical bug my sonar will run let me close some of these So I corrected the logic of prime numbers. My sonar is running. It has analyzed my files, all the six files. Sonar was successful. Then it is triggering my JNet. My previous JNet build was unstable that's why it is shown as hello now let us see the console of my JUnit this time once again it is sticking out my code compiling it on that it is running JUnit then everything is fine it is running my war file create war file job now this is a job which will create the war file and once this is successful it will deploy it is deployed it's taking it back up and deploy and on this selenium will run and in, in this case selenium will fail triggering a new build selenium Now the selenium will kick off we won't be able to see that it is using a normal font because I don't see the browser popping up because of the reason which I mentioned that I have configured Jenkins as a service all that we can see is a failure in my selenium report and the rollback job getting triggered this time
it is running my selenium Now there's a failure, it shows that there's a one failure. Now the rollback job got kicked off. Because I had configured that if my serial name is unstable, my rollback job should get kicked off. Now it will pick up from my backed up warp, it will pick up the backed up warp file and it will redeploy. So you can see it getting redeployed over here. So that's it from this demo point of view. Thank you so much.